Hey guys, I wasn't actually gonna vlog today's trip, but something very special is happening today. I got assigned to drive 2023 Prevo H345. I never get to see them because they're not based out of the Urbana facility where I work out of, nor do they commonly come up to Chicago. They're mainly kept at our Peoria facility. But just as luck would have it today, one's up here in Chicago and I got assigned to it. Don't ask me how or why, but this is the perfect opportunity for me to do a review of the new Prevo H345 because other than seeing it at UMA, I've never really got to uh, get behind the wheel of one. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go pre-trip the bus. Hey Larry, and there she is. 238, Prevo H345. Oh, that's not one of the new ones. Okay, my bad. I mean, it is a new Prevo, but it's not one of the newer ones. Should I even vlog today? You know what? Since I started recording and got everything prepped, I'll vlog the trip just for the hell of it. We're gonna do some circles in downtown Chicago. Hey, what's up guys? We are in the heart of Chicago, pretty close to downtown. We're just doing a um, quick shuttle today. Uh, it's gonna go from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. at night. And we're basically going from the outskirts of downtown into downtown, 11 miles back and forth. And our schedule has us doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight trips back and forth at the end of the night. When we finish uh, around 9.30, we're gonna head back to Schaumburg where my hotel is and call it a night. So it shouldn't be too hard other than the fact that we're just gonna go through Chicago traffic all night long. I gotta be honest, I'm kinda into that stuff. It doesn't bother me. Um, the only thing that will become annoying is the monotonous of it all. Monotonousty? Monotony? Monotony? Is that a word? Monotony. Okay, Google. Is monotony a word? Here's the definition of monotony. Lack of variety. Yeah, in monotony. English. Tedious repetition and routine. Yeah, tedious. <laughs> it's gonna be the monotony. What I'm really excited about is we're in a Prevo, which I rarely get to drive. Now we got some really new ones, a new model with a new body style. Unfortunately, I'm not in one of those. Um, and typically we don't, we don't keep Prevos up here in the Chicago area, but somehow today I lucked out and one of our Prevos got stationed up here and yours truly gets to drive it. And I figured I'd take you guys along with me. There's really not going to be any time to stop to eat. Now where I drop off across the street, there's a Chipotle's. If I get desperate enough, I'll go get some Chipotle's.
downtown Chicago. about 20 minutes it's currently 5:55. yeah 20 minutes kind of just sit here and hang out there's a chipotle's across the street I'm really tempted to go get something i think i might do that i'm gonna go get some chipotle
Hi, can I get a burrito bowl? You want a white rice? Yeah, double white rice, no beans. Double steak. I'll do some of the corn. Guacamole and lettuce. And a bag of chips, small bag of chips. Can I get a large drink too? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'll say one thing for Chipotle, they make really good steak. This is called eating under pressure. I have no idea when someone's gonna get on the bus. I don't want people to see me chowing down when they board. It just seems unprofessional. And I have about <clears throat> seven minutes left before I have to depart. I'm gonna put this away so that I don't get caught with my pants down. Figuratively, of course, not literally. I would never take off my pants in the bus. That would, that would just be weird. Say hi to YouTube. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? <laughs> what's your name, sir? Reginald. Reginald? Yeah. Hey, thanks for all you do, man. What's your name? Motor Coach World. It's all about buses. Yep, that's me. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, man. Yeah, check it out, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Reginald. I'm gonna see myself on that? Yeah, you're definitely gonna be on there. <laughs> How you doing, sir? You're good to go. We leave at 9:10. This is the last stop I'm making for the night. After we drop off, we are done. It's been really fun. I kind of enjoyed this. Well, I'm gonna sit here and wait till the last bit of my passengers to get on and we'll head back to the drop off spot and then head back to the hotel. I lost count of how many on there. I'm supposed to like write down how many people board the bus. So I have to go back on and do a head count. That's it. Well guys, it's been an awesome day. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. If you like what you saw, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my other channel, Motor Coach World, where I sit and talk about all things bus. I don't know if you guys can even see me. It's kind of, again, it's very dim on a Prevo. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call it a night, guys. 
Thanks for following along. I'll catch you guys next time. Toodles. I got my dinner. Okay guys, good night.